Congress will stand against BJP government's agenda to implement Citizenship Amendment Bill, says MP Thokchomania. Tension erupts after man found hanging to death under the custody of Kaibu police station. And class 12 examination conducted by Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur commences. Good evening, you're tuned to English News at 7. Now proceeding with the news in detail. MP Thokchomena has asserted that the Congress will fight against BJP government's agenda to implement a citizenship amendment bill. He was speaking at the inaugural event of an old age home at Langjing Atoba. The old age home was opened by Kangla Acupressure Alternative Therapy Treatment Research and Training Center. Pradhan and people of the area attended the event. Speaking further, MP Mayna stated that BJP government in both the state and the center have created confusion regarding the citizenship amendment bill among the people. He said implementation of the bill has been the resolute agenda of NTA government. The MP maintains that the bill was not tabled in the Rajya Sabha as they were aware that it won't be successful and that there is apprehension that it will be brought as ordinance. He reiterated that the Congress party will stand firm against the bill. ขอนะว่าไม่เอเจนดาอะมันเนี่ยบอกก็อะดูนะอะตุกิปอตุกิคอมมิโนเนี่ยตุกิบอกพี่คอมมิโนเนี่ยก็อะดูนะไลเดต
mayam sauba ko pa jinga tang ingdhara kanda akoi ki leba ki mapi mapa lady chief minister da honorable chief minister khone wali ji lila kanda kai kai no haiba do action do lokhat na ba ko tausi haiba wa kom chinai na ai ki Higher Secondary Examination 2019, conducted by Council of Higher Secondary Examination Manipur, commenced from today. Altogether, 28,949 students are appearing in the examination held in 100 centres recognised by the Council across the state. Flying squad of the Council also inspected exam centres for smooth functioning of the exam. Meanwhile, higher secondary examination also began peacefully at Moray College. 103 students comprising boys and girls are appearing the examination. Moray police geared up security measures to prevent any untoward incident. In Moray Higher Secondary School too, 198 students are appearing the examination. Invigilators examined properly to ensure smooth functioning of the exam. Altogether, 269 students are appearing Class 12 examination at Jiribom Higher Secondary School and Borobekra Higher Secondary School. Police personnel were on strict vigil to ensure smooth conduct of the examination. The Higher Secondary examination conducted by Kosum also began at Tengkongzang Higher Secondary School in Noni. A total of 323 students are appearing the exam at the centre. A three-member flying squad team of council inspected the centre. The examination was also conducted at two different centres in Tamenglong district. For the first time, 14 students of Langmei Higher Secondary School under Tamei Subdivision are appearing in the examination. Well, altogether, 302 students are appearing the exam at Tamenglong Higher Secondary School and 135 students at Christian Model Higher Secondary School. Flying squad teams inspected the centres. A three-day press conducted tour organized by DIPR inspected historical places in Jiribom district from February 15. The team found a letterbox used during British colonial in the courtyard of 1 Kaysam Iboyaima at Lakipur subdivision, Watch No. 8, Kasar. Speaking to media persons, Ibuyaima stated that the letterbox has been there since his childhood and as such, he could not say how old it must be. The media team also visited a pond at Watt number no. 1 of Lakipur subdivision known as Ningtempukri that was believed to be excavated during the reign of Maharaj Chandrakirti. Ingudam Satish Chandra said the pond was dug out by Maharaj Chandrakirti when he came to attend Zila Darbar. The media team also inspected Awapali Fort in Kasari Kamranga Part 1 and Part 2. Speaking to media persons, Assistant Secretary of Awapali Fort KSH Pritham stated that the fort was set up during the seven years' devastation in the history of Manipur. He expressed desire for the government to develop the place into a profound historical site. <laughs> Altogether, 
On the other hand, the team also inspected funeral site of father of Maharaj Churachan Chaubiyaima at Lalang Labog Part 4. The site in the courtyard of Mohammed Kambaton remains unattended by the authority concerned. President of Manipur Youth Front Assam Seram Herajit drew attention of the government to develop the place and also to take stock of the condition of Maytes in the area. Manipuri Bhavan Nama Assam Das Hagani Haina Lam Laiduna Lady Hajiji Haiba Lam Laiduna Lady Bese Atuba Matamda Implement of Virga Budget Happy Rega Bhavan Nasa Atuba Matanda Sabinaba Haji Goiba Chimisa Da Kui Dimanta Ogramini Adung Tazabata Pide Adu Tabo in a Dinga Sibo Paki Pide Aduga Luan Luena Mapalam de Manipuri Aquina Yanga Lady Bese Imalipa Manipuni Adu Manipur Nanga Sibo Mapalam de Manipuri Singi Karisu Kana Bagi the Makta Kana Bidabaja Kuyam Naja De the Long Development Forum has sought the attention of the concerned authorities to repair riverbanks of Lilong Assembly constituency before the monsoon arrives. The forum has appealed to government to take up necessary measures to prevent difficulties faced by people and loss of property caused by frequent floods. Now, before proceeding with the news, let's have a short break. Honda car ki mamal February ki tanga mat ki hengale adubu sangai Honda da February ki tang tarap hawa da booking to biki ba customer singda ariba mamal da car sing yon jagane customer singi da makta lupa sing tarama pande ki lupa la kamal sing kun mangafaw ba ki discount su pizari Honda car sing asi Japan ki multinational company na sabani anoga technology amadi safety feature ke yauri adubu matam da gari airport road ta leba sangai Honda da lagbiu amasun khudong chaba sing si lobiu. Now coming back to the news, Salai Agro Products Private Limited, a unit of Salai Holdings Private Limited Manipur, is taking part in the 24th edition of the world's largest food and beverages annual expo, Gulf Food Expo, being held at the Dubai World Trade Center. The expo was inaugurated yesterday and will conclude on February 21. More than 98,000 visitors from different parts of the world have already visited the expo. More than 5,000 companies from around 193 countries are participating in the expo with their respective products. Talking to us to the news from Dubai on phone, Mahesh Sharma Gurumayum, Marketing Manager of Salai International Dubai, said many companies from different countries have expressed inquisitiveness about the products being made in Manipur. They want to visit Manipur and establish a business tie-up with the Salai Agro Products Private Limited, Mahesh said. Salai Agro Products ki bot mayam si akwena mayam mang do utse ba matam da mi mayam si na Manipur Manipur hai raga chat ki basi yam na nungai je akwena. Adu dagi hai na koi Manipur ki exotic oi ba Umurok, Adegi Singh, Magi qualities mayamse, Akwena, Mayama Mang the Uchabasi, Yamna Nuiza Bam Pawi, Akwegi stole Ziggy Hek Mamang the Pau Hiva missing the Loinova, Manipur, Manipur, Haina, Sol Lagata Kivese, Masita, Yamna Nuiza Bam Pawi, Yamna Chauba Company Amana, Akwegi Salai Egrogi, Assam the Labour Refinery, the La Aga, Inspection Tauraga, Test Tauraga, Twenty Liter Gi, Packaging Tauraga di, Akwe, Africa da. Yonjage Haiba Group Amasu Yauri. Chairman and Managing Director of Salai Holdings Private Limited, Narengbam Samarjid, along with Economic Advisor Miroslav Team, has met Minister for Energy, Water Resources and Irrigation, Barshaman Pun Ananta at Kathmandu, Nepal today. The first round of talk was held on setting up of hydro projects in Nepal under Salai Destiny Private Limited, a JV company of Salai Holdings Private Limited, established in Nepal. Minister Bershaman Pun Ananta showed a full interest while promising maximum cooperation to take up the hydro project as soon as possible and to have another round of talks in immediate future. Samarjit stated that it is a milestone for Salai Holdings Private Limited and thanked the people of Manipur for their relentless support and faith in the company. 
Employees of Infal Municipal Corporation Employees Union today hold protest demonstration by locking the main gates of Infal Municipal Corporation. The demonstration was part of the protest demanding wages of the laborers that started from January 24. General Secretary of the Union Thodam Sobita said, without giving any importance to the employees demanding salary and area of seven months, Commission and Mayor of IMC has expressed inability to put IMC's fund in the budget. <laughs> ไอ้ดีแผนทางกันแล้วว่าเตซีปุตตะวันเตซาแล้วดูสุขังเจียดูบ่มาตองมาตุงินะดีซีจูแผนปุระเสร็จเลยอะดูบ่มาอยู่น
Course Coordinator Seema Sanjembam, Deputy Director T. H. Ranjit, DIO Bishnupur S. H. Sneha Prava, DIO Editor of Manipur Today M. Mangi, Principal of CI College Dr. K. Tambradhaja were among those present on the occasion. Over 30 persons of Bishnupur District are taking part in the course. A one-day workshop was held on the topic Open Water Fisheries Management of Manipur at the Conference Hall of Directorate of Fisheries, Lumfelpad. The workshop was jointly organized by ICAR Central Inland Fisheries Research Institute, Barakpur, and Directorate of Fisheries. Director of ICAR Central Inland Fisheries Research Institute, Barakpur, Dr. B. K. Das, Principal Scientist, Dr. A. K. Das, Additional Director of Fisheries Department, Kamsing Ahum, and many officials attended the workshop. Kamsing Ahum said the workshop was conducted with an aim to produce adequate fish in the state. A team of Info West Commando conducted cordon and search operation in the areas of Hindu Hotel, Kashturi Bridge and Jalan Provision Store of Nagamapal. Altogether, 472 persons were verified during the search operation conducted under the supervision of additional SP operations, T. H. Krishna Tombi. 18 persons were handed over to City Police Station for further verification. On the other hand, a team of Info West Commando also conducted cordon and search operation along the northern side of Manipur State Assembly Complex. The team conducted house-to-house -house search where 500 persons were verified. No arrests have been made so far. MLA of Patsoi constituency A.K. Mirabai extended financial assistance to Mutum Nungshitombi Devi of Patsoi Part 3, presently undergoing treatment for the injury she sustained during NTCAB movement demanding withdrawal of citizenship amendment bill. The MLA visited the residence of Mutum Nungshitombi Devi. Speaking to the media persons, the MLA said citizenship amendment bill was an effort to suppress the indigenous people of Northeast. She expressed profound happiness over the people's collective effort to protect the future generation. She further said, if an ordinance for CAB is implemented, then it is questionable whether it is BJP government's action. Civil society organizations, Congress and people of Manipur should have a concrete stand to oppose the bill in any way. Now before we wind up, a quick glance at the headlines. Congress will stand against BJP government's agenda to implement a citizenship amendment bill, says MP Tokcha Maina. Tension erupts after man found hanging to death under the custody of Kabul police station. And class 12 examination conducted by Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur commences. That's the end of today's news in English. Thank you for joining us. Have a good night. Hari Sarnam, Purvash